Hello everyone. Welcome to Just Begin, where we talk about starting our businesses or if we should start a business, especially if we're still uh, working a full-time job. And tonight I want to talk about it's a great time to start your business. Uh, we all know that we are in the month of March and this is a time when a lot of people are getting money for their um, tax returns and I think that it would be a good thing to invest in yourself and go ahead and start a business. Um, this is really the perfect time to just begin your new journey. So let's go over some of the things that you would have to do to start a new business and try to gauge how much money you would have to set aside in order to start a business. The first thing you want to do um, when you start a business is to register your business with the state and that's at the Secretary of State's uh, website. So you want to go ahead and choose what type of entity you want to form. I don't know if you're going to be um, creating an LLC or an S Corp or a C Corp. I am not an attorney and I'm not an accountant, but those are the types of options that you will have um, when you go to the Secretary of State's website. Uh, many people start LLCs. You may want to speak to an attorney or an accountant to figure out what type of entity you, entity you want to start. I chose to start an LLC. Each state charges a different amount of money to register your business, uh, to actually create an entity. Um, it shouldn't be any more than $200. I mean, it may be some states that charge 225, but it definitely shouldn't be any more than that. And when you create your um, business entity, uh, that's something that you can do yourself um, and you actually can get instructions uh, from your state's website and they can pretty much walk you through it and they also list a phone number so they should be able to help you. I just don't want you to be intimidated or scared um, about starting your business and um, registering it with the state. This is definitely something um, that you can do. And another thing that you want to keep in mind is that you want to get a business address. Now, I know some people are going to be wondering, well, can I just start my business at home and use my home address? You can, but many people choose not to do that due to privacy issues. Um, because you are registering your business with the state, that would be public information, your home address, and you don't want... Um, well, I would imagine you don't really want uh, strangers knowing your home address just for safety reasons. But if you absolutely wanted to use your home address, you could. Um, many people use a P.O. box. I don't really recommend that either because sometimes that's problematic when it comes to uh, apply for business credit. Um, I would suggest you getting a virtual address, a virtual uh, business address, because that's an actual uh, physical location and it's just not a mailbox. It's actually, I would actually recommend that you get the virtual address in an office building because many times when you're applying for a loan, uh, lenders will pull up the actual address and if it's a, um, a mail receiving business and they know it's just a mailbox, they're going to know that, that you don't have an office there and that may impact their decision. Um, so just keep that in mind. So I chose to get a virtual address and it's also like a co-op space. So if I need to access it to have a business meeting, I can. So that's what I would recommend for you, but you have to do what's in your budget. Just wanted to let you know about your options. It's also important to get a business phone number. Now, I know that everybody has a cell phone. I know I have a cell phone, but I also have a business phone number, a, a phone number that's actually registered with uh, my business, and it actually is there um, at the business address. So it's not just a cell phone number because that's something else that might be problematic when you try to apply for business credit. Um, the lenders like to see an actual business phone number. So that's something um, that you might want to keep in mind. I'm pretty sure that you might be able to use your cell phone number. And then when you want to apply for business credit, maybe you'll purchase a business phone number at that time. It's totally up to you. 
Um, and sometimes they have packages when you get a virtual address. You can actually get the address and the business phone number and it's very affordable. It's something like $125 monthly. That's not too bad. So another thing that you're going to need is your EIN number, your employee identification number. And that is a number that you get from the IRS. It is totally free. It is sort of like a social security number for your business. Very important. Once you register your business, you do need to go to the IRS website and go ahead and get your EIN number. It's completely free. Um, and it's a very, very simple process. It just took me, um, a few minutes and, and I got my EIN number. And I know we spoke a lot about websites. Um, I think websites are important because I do believe that you need to have a strong online presence when you start a business. And a website is a good centralized location where people can go to look you up. Um, they'll go to your website and see what types of services or products you offer. And it just makes you look more um, credible um, as a business. And that's just my opinion. Um, there are different companies that offer websites. You have Bluehost, you have A2 Hosting, you have GoDaddy, you have WordPress. So you have a lot of different choices and you just choose the option that's best for you. Um, you will have to buy a domain with the website and uh, it would also be a good idea to get a professional email. You don't have to, it's totally up to you. It's just that when you're functioning as a business, you may not want to be at um, yahoo.com or at gmail.com. You actually may want to have um, a business, uh, a business.com. So just something to keep in mind. It just makes you look more credible and it, and it looks more professional. So now that you've done all of that, uh, oh yeah, and that's not very costly. That might cost you about 30 bucks. It's not very expensive. So that's something that's very affordable as well. And don't forget that you will need your Dun & Bradstreet number. That is how you're gonna start building business credit. Uh, that is the number that they use to, um, you know, to pull your credit. The Dun & Bradstreet number is very important when it comes to business credit. And so once you get that, you want to start building your business credit and I've mentioned this in previous videos, you want to get vendor accounts with different vendors, uh, vendors like Quill, vendors like Granger, and, and vendors like Uline. They will invoice you and you can buy products. They'll send you an invoice and you will have 30 days to pay it. And buying products like that, using that process, it helps to build your business credit. Um, I hope I didn't go through too much. I know that was a lot of information. I hope you guys are still with me, still watching the video, but it's very important because you uh, are investing in yourself. You're starting a business, you're starting a new journey. Many people want to start a business, but don't know when to start and don't know how to start. So when you get your tax return, this is a great time to do so. And I didn't add everything up, but it's pretty affordable. You can start a business for less than $500. So why not invest in yourself? I talk to so many people, whether it be friends or whether it be family members, and everybody has this on their mind, but they're not quite sure of how to do it. So I would recommend just beginning. Just begin your new journey. Just take the first step. Go ahead and get the address. Go ahead and get the phone number. Go ahead and register your business. Go through the steps. And before you know it, you'll have a business. And once your business is set up, read about everything about that topic, you know, because it may be something new. Or even if it's something that you're very familiar with, but you've just gone into business with it now, you can always learn something new. Don't hesitate or be shy or afraid to get a mentor. They can be very helpful. I have a mentor. She has helped me immensely. I've learned so much. And just grow your business. Step out on faith. The more you learn, the more you do, the bigger your business will grow, the more successful your business will be. So you got this. 
You may want to invest in yourself when you get this tax return. You can do it. I think it'll be a great idea. And I just want to remind you all that I do have a group on Facebook called Just Boss Up. You are more than welcome to join the group. We just talk about different things. The group is for uh, business owners and future business owners. And we just talk about things that entrepreneurs talk about. And you're more than welcome to join. I hope you all have a good night. Thank you.